Hi, my name is Philip Brunton, and I welcome you to this video entitled How to Make a Sound on Your Clarinet. Now, provided you've set up the clarinet correctly and you have an appropriate reed set to your mouthpiece, then you're ready to begin making your first sound. So, what is a good sound? What we're looking for is a good responding and resonating sound. Responding in that it speaks clearly from the start and it has a good resonance, a nice ring to the sound. So, you're able to sustain it without any fluctuation for about four seconds for a start and gradually you'll build that up. Okay, and my best advice here is to listen to lots of clarinet players. Listen to professional clarinet players in concert and recordings and YouTube can help as well. There's lots of performances there to listen to. Get an idea, an inner sound concept of what you like in a clarinet sound and gradually you'll meet that. Okay? Now to begin with, let's first consider our posture. We want a good posture whether you're sitting or standing. You want to make sure both feet are on flat on the ground and if you're sitting you can sit upwards on your seat okay now our holding position of the clarinet our basic holding position we want a steady hold so you're going to take your right hand thumb under the thumb rest you'll notice i have a thumb cushion here you can get from a music shop if it gives you more comfort and you have one two three fingers on the, all on the right hand okay three holes three fingers it's not going to make a difference whether these are up or down in terms of the pitch today that we're doing, but it's going to give you a more secure hold if it's down. Okay, The thumb, just to show you, we're aiming to put the thumb rest there, not on this side of the knuckle, between the knuckle and the nail, right about there. And to help you get a good feeling of holding the clarinet, take a pencil, three fingers, and the thumb, and you're holding it like that. And just apply the same idea to your clarinet. Okay. Now the other hand, the left hand, I suggest you holding the left hand barrel. Rather than holding any keys down here and interfere with the sound, we're going to hold the barrel. It gives a good secure hold, but also has an added benefit of focusing all our attention up to this area, the mouthpiece, the mouth, the reed, and our blowing there to create the sound. Okay. Now to make a sound, we need to set the reed into vibration. And this is done with our breath. A few thoughts about breathing when we take a breath. You want an unrestricted column of air here. So we want to breathe low. If you breathe, think about breathing high, your throat gets choked off, your shoulders go up, that restricts the breathing column. Think about breathing down low, and gradually you'll learn about a muscle called the diaphragm here, which helps you support the air. But right now, think breathing low, an unrestricted breathing column. And we breathe through the clarinet. Think about the type of breath you might use for blowing up a balloon, a bit of force to the air. Okay. And you'll play around with that until you get your best sound. So we also have to think what's called an embouchure. An embouchure is our mouth position, a French word referring to our mouth position here, and our mouth position around the mouthpiece. The most important part of that is thinking about a natural embouchure. What's natural to you? The way you look without a clarinet should be the way you look with a clarinet in your mouth. Okay, keep it natural. So what we're looking to do it's just relax your mouth for a moment, slightly open. Your teeth are separated slightly in a relaxed position. Just slip the clarinet in, maybe about a centimeter. Your top teeth are going to touch the mouthpiece. I've got a mouthpiece patch on my mouthpiece here. Gives my teeth a bit of grip, but you can do it without or with a patch. Okay? If you want a patch, you can get that just like a thumb rest. You can get something at the music shop. Okay? But it works just as well without a patch. Top teeth touching the mouthpiece. They're about a centimeter in. Okay, and the lower lip is going to sit on the reed there. So we have some reed exposed in the mouth to vibrate. Okay, so the lower lip on the reed. Now, the first big mistake a lot of students do here is they fold all the lip inside the mouth like that. It's not very natural, and the problem here is all the muscles of the lip are being wasted inside the mouth. And so there's no support where the teeth are touching and they're grinding into the lip and that gets rather shows some discomfort. Okay? So instead just let the lip form naturally above the teeth and the teeth will find a position underneath and it gives good support. Okay? We're always breathe through our mouth when we play. And when we're ready to blow out, we create a seal with our lips. Think of saying mmm on the clarinet. So top teeth, lower lip. Take a breath in, form the seal, and then blow through the clarinet. Mm -hmm. 
So what we're looking for is about a four second sound with good response and good resonance. It starts well and it has a good ring to the sound. Okay. Now, there are a few variables that we can adjust to help us get this. First of all, the angle of the clarinet. If the clarinet's too high, we create unwanted tension on our jaw and we'll get maybe a possibly a, quite an airy sound. Like that. If it's too low, it's too tight against our mouth position here and it'd be quite a small thin sound. Like that. So we want to find the right angle that's right for you. Natural. Okay, listen to your sound and make the adjustments. Okay, another variable is the amount of reed we put in the mouth. Okay, so if we put too much mouthpiece in the mouth, so that's more, too much reed is vibrating, you'll get, watch out for this one, that kind of sound. Okay, and if you have not enough mouthpiece in the mouth, not enough reed vibrating, you'll have no sound whatsoever. Okay, because there's no reed to vibrate. Another variable is the amount of force we give to our air pressure, okay? If it's too much air pressure going through, the reed will probably cut itself off and you won't get a sound. If you're able to get a sound, it'll be very loud, okay? Now, if you have not enough air force, you'll probably not set the reed into vibration and you'll just get a bit of airy sound like that. Okay, and finally, we consider the, the last variable, the amount of pressure we give to our embouchure, okay? The amount of support our embouchure has. If it's too tight, our embouchure will close off the reed, and again, no sound. Or if it's too loose, you might get a really buzzy flat pitch like this. Okay, so we'll, we'll adjust all those variables until you get your best sound. And I'll play one more pitch so you can listen to it, see if you can get the same pitch as you. And when you're ready, you feel you want to bring your hand down below. Okay? You'll notice I started without the tongue. Some manual books suggest you put your tongue on the reed and start the sound with a ta. That's absolutely right, but in this video, I find it's better to start with just your embouchure support and your air support, making sure that works correctly. If you can get a good responding sound with that, it's easy to add the tongue after that. Okay. Now one other variable we haven't discussed is the reed strength. I've suggested that a child learning as a beginner should be on a size one and a half, and an adult, an adult may be a beginner uh, size two, and gradually that'll build up. Okay. But if the reed's too hard at first, you'll get a really airy, hard to blow sound. If it's too soft, it'll be a real buzzy sound. And an adult might even not be able to get a sound on it whatsoever because the reed will be so soft it's closing up on itself. So try children on a one and a half, beginners and beginner adults, maybe on a size two. Okay, and then you'll build from there. So now to summarize, what we're looking for is good posture, good secure hold of the clarinet, I suggest putting your left hand on there right now and gradually you can bring that down. We're looking for a natural forming embouchure, an unrestricted breathing column. You breathe through the mouth, top teeth touching, lower lip, take your breath, create the seal, and then blow out. <laughs> Consider all these variations that we can do, um, the variables, and make the adjustments required until you get your best sound. We're aiming for a four second sound with good response, good resonance without any fluctuation. Okay, and gradually you can build up that time length longer. So remember, the best advice is to listen to lots of clarinet players. Get an idea from professional clarinet players what you like, listening to concerts, recordings, even YouTube. Finding what you like, getting that stuck in your ear, and gradually you'll meet that. So good luck. Bye for now.